larger today, larger than life. Yeah, I wish I had some wise words of wisdom for you. I don't think I'd care to hear any. You're kind of wound up, aren't you? Come on, get some coffee with me here. I'm late already. Wait a minute. It's not just the trial with you, is it? All right. I was wondering why you never offered to take me out for a cup of coffee when I worked for you. Well, I never thought of it today. I'm sorry, I was kind of stupid. It wasn't stupid, it was honest. Look, come here. Get in here. Now move over. All right, you had something to say, now say it. As long as I live, I'll never forget the first time I met you. In your office when I came to see you about my... my problem. I was terrified and you knew it. But after a few moments, I felt you were the kindest, warmest human being I'd ever met. I felt we were friends. And are we not still friends? I don't know. I suppose I'll be seeing you at the Peyton house. You did accept Mr. Peyton's offer to be his attending physician. Well, I couldn't very well refuse it. That was very noble. Look, since you brought up the Peyton house, do you mind if I enter in a little sarcasm of my own? I mean, was it nobility that brought you there? I had my reasons. Reasons? Sound ones? Oh, you're beginning to sound like my mother. You're going to remind me of my past mistakes, too? No, I'm not going to do that. It's just that I don't want you to go against yourself. Such a smug Dr. Righteous you are. It's the last of the fence rattlers. But when you decide to take sides, Doctor, you really go. What is it? What's the matter with you? Did you enjoy the evening, Dr. Rossi? Did Stella Chen act like Italian food? Look. Stephen and I picked the same restaurant. Congratulations, Doctor. Betty. 